What's happening, HD Nation? Hey, today I'm going to talk about something that's really um, monumental in World War II. And this is actually something that brought on more of World War II and empowered Hitler to go for world domination. Um, now, we're going to go back a few days. So, right now it's October 2nd, Minnesota Monday, right? So, go back two days, September 30th. Now, this was back in 1938. This was the day that uh, Chamberlain, who is the Prime Minister of Britain, went over and talked with the French um, Premier, yeah, Edouard, uh, Edouard Daladier, sorry if I mispronounced that, um, they met over with Hitler and Mussolini, thinking that, oh, if we gave them one more land, they would stop. Sorry, it doesn't happen with power-hungry people like Hitler. So, they meet together, they tell Hitler, go ahead, take this one more land, one last land, and then agree to stop with taking any more territories. Well, so what happened? Okay, so, move on to uh, October 1st. So, yesterday, but this is uh, 1938, so many years before. Now what happened that day, so the next, very next day after um, Chamberlain returned to Britain, after meeting with Hitler, Hitler goes in and takes over, um, it's called uh, Sudentenland, 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 yes, sorry, I'm going to be repronouncing these in a second video on this, um, which was part of Czechoslovakia. So at that point they were supposed to stop. But guess what happened? So remember, Mussolini met there too. What happened with Mussolini? October 2nd, he invades uh, Abyssonia. Abyssonia. Sorry, again, I mis mispronounce it. Um, look it up. But Mussolini attacks there. And it just continues because they feel empowered that no one's going to stand up to Hitler or Mussolini, and they just keep going. Now, one of the big things. As we'll find out, and we'll talk about these as we go, um, there's also some other things that happen when it comes to such as Hitler teaming up with Russia. Russia is not going to attack them. They want to claim some land, so they start claiming some land while Hitler starts moving up towards Russia. And guess what happens? Again, power hungry goes into Russia, makes Russia mad. Russia finally attacks back, and they become somewhat of an ally of the West. But that wouldn't have happened if Hitler hadn't attacked Russia and tried to claim some of their territories. Power-hungry people. Again, what is up with the world? You see it all, every generation, there are these people that are power-hungry. Even in today's homeland, all around the world, there are still people that are power-hungry. Russia, right now Putin, um, is slowly moving into other places. Now, it seemed to slow down, but was it really slowing down when Hitler... Did the same thing? I don't know. Hopefully, Putin has other ideas and stops what he's doing. Nobody really knows what will happen. Especially if no one stands up to Russia. Now, the United States, especially with uh, um, President Trump, has done some things to put a hold on them. Hopefully, Russia does not come in. Um, there's a possibility that Trump would do something. Nobody really knows until it actually happens. But this is history. History continues to repeat itself. Every time we give the yeah, power-hungry people a little bit of a, yeah, we're going to, this is what they called it. So back to September 30th, the headlines were, Peace with Honor. But what happened with Peace with Honor? It empowered Hitler to take more land and keep going. So there was another headline happened later on that was Peace Through Strength, and that's, held back a lot of people from taking more power. And the United States has been that big um, shining hill, uh, uh, shining beacon on a hill. We've done it. Other countries have done it. So we're not the only ones. I mean, there are a lot of different countries that have um, continued to perpetuate the, the idea that we want peace. We want freedom for everyone. And it's because of these countries that push that that the other ones are held back. But if we let go of that, if we will not fight for the things that we believe, how soon will those people that are power hungry take over or try to take over? 
and then perpetuating again, then we have to intervene again. But if we keep our walls up, keep our strength, how is it that anybody else will decide that they're going to go start taking over if they fear that someone's going to try to stop them? So we don't, we never, war is always the last choice. But if we can show our strength to keep people away from trying to take over the world, then maybe that's what we need to do. Again, I'm not for wars, occupation of other countries, or anything like that. But just to show by example and by strength of who we are as a people, I'm not even talking about our armies, our military, and stuff like that. I'm talking about our police officers. I'm talking about our teachers. I'm talking about you and me and everybody. We stand strong and we don't have to worry about other people taking over because they will see that and they will be held off. If we appease them, they won't be held off. So continue what you're doing. Be an example to other people. Be an example to your family, your friends, to the people around you in your community. That's when we make a difference, not just in our lives, but in the lives of everybody around us. And the more people we, take, we make an influence on, hopefully it will continue to perpetuate. People will see freedom, they'll see uh, joy and justice, and they will desire that in their own countries, in their own lands, and, in, and then in their own communities. Well, actually, basically, it should start. So keep up the good work, especially HC Nation. You guys are amazing. You're very intellectual. You are always out there trying to find out more information. I mean, that's why you play Historical Conquest, right? It's a really fun game, but you could play any game out there. The twist that you're learning history at the same time, that's a heads up. You are so much more above everybody else because you desire to know more and you do just that. So keep up the good work and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks again for joining me on this whatever Wednesday. We'll talk to you soon. Take care. If you have any comments or questions, add them to the comments below. Otherwise, we'll see you next, uh, we'll see you tomorrow actually. Take care. Bye.